Um, in my last video, I told you I had a little bit more loot to show you. So I am super excited because I've got all of it right here, super ready to show you. And yeah, it's almost Halloween. It's also almost my birthday. My birthday is October 22nd. So I am super excited. I love October. This is like my favorite month. Um, I don't know if you guys are doing anything fun for Halloween. So far we have one ghost tour um, scheduled that I'm super excited about, but I don't have anything for actual Halloween planned yet. So I hope we can find something. Our town's like really sleepy and none of my friends are really into like Halloween parties or anything like that. And I'm kind of an old lady anyway. So I don't know. I just like the spooky side of Halloween really more than like the dressing up costume side. I guess you could say. Um, so we'll have to see if we can get into something spooky. But if you guys are doing anything really fun for Halloween, please let me know in the comments below because that way I can live vicariously through you um, and listen to all the cool stuff that you're going to do. Okay, and we're getting on with the haul. Um, all right, so the first thing is this Majolica picture. I was super excited to find this because it's the basket weave like yellow wear and it's in really nice condition. Um, obviously it's got crazy because you know these things are crazy old but like so good right? So pretty. It was ten dollars but I'm like 99% sure I got it um, at like a thrift store that was doing half price so I'm pretty sure I paid five but even if I did pay 10, like totally worth it because it's beautiful. It's got like all kinds of markings on the bottom from like antique dealers and thrift stores and all kinds of stuff. Um, then I found this little vessel. I believe it's Portuguese. I'm not 100% sure. Um, it weighs like a million pounds. It's really heavy. It's like a really, really thick ceramic. It is definitely or like pottery I guess I would say um it's got crazing on it so and it's you know it's old <laughs> like looking at the bottom of it it's got like some light chips like really old chips on the very bottom but nothing crazy so I picked that up at Goodwill um last weekend with my husband and it was $2.99 but it's got like a really thick glaze on it. Like this right here is like all bubbles from the glaze. So it's kind of a cool piece. I like how every side is different. Um, then I got like a little grab bag, but inside the grab bag, there was like literally just one thing that I wanted. Um, the other stuff will probably still be able to list though. Um, but it's this cute little tea bag holder. I just thought it was so charming. Um, it's hand painted and it says it's got like a little bird on it. It's kind of hard to tell. It's a little bit of a derpy, derpy looking bird, but it's still really cute. And it says Estelle and 1945 on the bottom. So I'm like such a sucker for anytime something, um, is dated. It really just shows you like the true antiquity of it. And you're like, you know, if I had just found this with just like the bird on it, I wouldn't have realized how old it was. So it's pretty cool. Um, really, really sweet. So I'll probably just keep that and use it, honestly, because my mom and I both really like tea. And it's kind of like our thing. Every time she comes over, she has a, um, you know, a cup of tea. So it's fun to have different little like tea bag holders for her. Okie dokie. Um, then I found a set of four of these um, pink glasses. I believe they're Anchor Hawking. Um, they are so pretty. Like, I just washed them and, like, look at how shiny they are. Is that so great? I've seen the amber and the green, like, all the time, but I don't think I've ever run into the pink before. So I was excited to find those. Woo! I love to break things too it's one of my skills especially when I have like a set of four of something I'm like let me break one so that I only have three now <laughs> please um then I found this little swung glass vase 
Um, I just thought it was cool. I mean, it's amber. It's not like one of the super, super desirable. It's also not humongous, but I couldn't leave it behind. Like, look at those lines. So good, right? I love it. Um, so far, almost all of this, except for the little like tea bag thingamahooey are all going to be up um, on Etsy. So if you're interested in anything, um, you know, let me know. I say this in every video, but like it just bears worth mentioning that I'm the world's worst um, <laughs> Etsy reseller. Um, I, I have no like, there's no, there's no reasoning behind how I list things because everything just ends up in a huge pile and I just randomly pick things up and list them. Um, and then once they're listed, they get put away, but until they're listed, it's just like a huge mess. So sometimes I list things like right away and sometimes I it takes me like years. <laughs> like I literally was going through my art and um, the Goodwill puts um, dates on things there was art in there from like two years ago that I still haven't listed. It's bad. It's so bad. So I don't, I, there's really no rhyme or reason to my nonsense in how I list things. I just pick things up and list them. Um, so that being said, if there's ever anything that you're interested in, just shoot me a message because um, I'll try to get it up like a lot faster. Otherwise, there's no telling. There's no telling. Um, the next thing I found is this little Danish, um, I, it's kind of like a shot glass, but I think it would also be cute as a tea, um, like a little tea light holder. I was trying to take the label off so I could show it to you a little better. It was a dollar from Goodwill, so it was like kind of useless, but also just like too cute to leave behind. <laughs> so it has this little town on it with the little boats and... Oh, sorry, that's my dryer. And as you turn it, it's like the whole scene is completely different. It's never repeated. So anyway, it's just really, really cute. Um, it's marked Denmark on the bottom. Um, I don't know. I have no idea. <laughs> just thought it was cute. Not sure if that's something I could like actually sell or if it's just random. <laughs> um, then I found a pair of these brass candlesticks. These were a little spendy, I can't lie, um, but I really loved the um, like filigree on them. It's not picking up too great, but they're little flowers and it's so pretty and it's also carries down to the bottom. Um, I don't know, I find candlesticks that are um, engraved or embossed kind of like this all the time, but a lot of the time it's just a pattern and not necessarily like flowers. So I thought these were super cute, but they were expensive. I think I paid $12 for the set, um, which is, you know, a lot, but they're really pretty. Um, then I found these little Danish shoes. They definitely need a bath. They're a little dirty. Um, or they're from Holland. Um, and they're really, really cute. They're just like little wooden shoes. They cute. I just couldn't leave them. They were $5. Um, then I got this fairy lamp. It's flashed. It's not like red glass and the some of the flash is kind of starting to like come off at the bottom a little bit. So it's probably not my best purchase um, at all. But I'm such a sucker for fairy lamps. Like I can't leave them. They're so cool. I just love them. So I don't know. I grabbed that. I'm not sure how much I paid for it. Oh, it was $2.99, so not like a huge amount of money, luckily. Um, then I found this little thermometer. It's super weird, 
but I just thought it was really cute. It's like this little dog and he's, I think it's Russian. I really don't know. It was $2.99 at Goodwill, but he's like climbing up this little tree or tower or something. I have no idea, guys. It's super weird. But I love things that are quirky and unique like this. Like, I don't know. If I've never seen something before, like that's definitely when I want it. But it's all made out of wood and it's all hand carved. So you gotta give some props for that because that's pretty cool. Um, then I picked up these little um, religious brass pictures. I'm not 100% sure of their age, but they were only a um, dollar each. So I just thought they were really cool. Um, religious iconography does pretty well for me. And I just thought it was unique. And I liked that it was a pair of two. So I thought they were cool. And they have like a little stand on the back. So I don't know. I have no idea like how old they are. I really am useless. <laughs> I gotta look them up. I gotta figure some stuff out. Um, then I just found this little um, wooden box. It was a dollar, but it was just so cute. I couldn't leave it. It's very folky, little folk art, like hand painted box. So pick that up. I'm such a sucker for boxes. I always, always want them. Um, then I got this cool frog pitcher. He is, he's just neat. Like he's not really marked on the bottom at all. He was $2.99, which I felt like was a really good deal. And I just thought he was cute. Like, he could be, I don't know. I think he's vintage, I don't think he's like old, but I think he's cute either way. Probably like 90s. I like that he's sitting on a little lily pad. Um, then I found some little baskets. I like these little box baskets with the nesting baskets on the inside. They're pretty old um, and very useful. So I got that one. And then I also got this larger one that has like, it's a little like, it's a little wonky, but I love the fact that it was divided. Very useful. So those I'll probably keep because I don't think anyone would want them, but they're pretty cute. This was $2.99. I think they were both $2.99. My Goodwill's obsessed with marking everything $2.99. So everything's just $2.99. Um, then I found two of these little Portuguese hand-painted plates. Um, I have no idea what in the world they would be used for other than like tiny decorations, but I thought they were too cute to leave behind. Um, they weren't even priced. They gave them to me for a dollar each. Um, but I liked that this was like kind of a weird looking little bunny and this little flower. I don't know, like this one you could probably use as like a tea bag holder, but I'm not sure about this one. I really don't know. But anyhow, regardless, they're cute. They'd be nice little ashtrays too, I suppose. Maybe this one more than this one, but you know me guys, I'm always picking up weird stuff. Um, then I found this super cute clock, but unfortunately it doesn't work. Um, you can buy new clock mechanisms um, on Amazon, which is what I'll probably do. But I'll tell you, every time I buy something broken, we try really hard to fix it. And then it just never gets fixed. Like I have a purse and a couple pictures and brass and just oh I can just think in my head of all the things that we have that are broken <laughs> that need to be fixed before we can sell them and they just never get fixed so I don't know what the fate is for this adorable little clock but she's lovely I just loved it I'm so bummed it doesn't work because it probably never will <laughs>
<laughs> oh gosh, you guys. Okay. Um, then I got a set of four of these um, handmade tumblers. They're really cool, but they're like incredibly heavy. But I just liked them. I don't know. I think I paid $10 for the set. They also came with a teapot, but the teapot was like really ugly and it didn't have a top, which annoyed me. And um, it was so heavy. So I think I'm just gonna sell the cups, but please weigh in your thoughts um, below if I should list it like as a full set with like the cups and the teapot, or if I should just sell the set of four cups. Thoughts? What do you think? Let me know. Um, then I found another one of these big giant Florentine trays. Um, this is like probably one of the bigger ones I've found, but I always pick them up. Um, it says made in Italy on the back, which is cool. It's not in perfect condition, but they never are. <laughs> so who's that? Um, I picked up a couple of these baskets. Ugh. I thought they were cool. Um, they would be really nice like wall hanging baskets. So I'll probably list them as such. Ooh. My hair is like so wild. I'm like itchy now. Aren't they cool? This one especially is like so pretty, right? I don't know. Not really like my vibe generally, but I just thought they were cool. And I know the baskets are in, so... I was like, let's take a chance. I think they were, I don't know, probably $2.99. Everything's $2.99. Um, then I found this cute little Budweiser mirror. So obviously I couldn't leave that behind. I thought that was super rad. That was $2. And then I found one of these um, brass like school days. So my husband's like bound and determined for us to keep this, <laughs> but um, I, I'm not convinced. Um, but I just think it's cute. I know that they sell pretty well online, these little brass school days pictures. He actually had one of these and his brother did too when they were little, which is probably why he wants to keep it for the nostalgia, but it's cute. I love like the random pictures that are in here also. Like this is not somebody's actual pictures because it's a million different people. <laughs> like what? Okay. Um, then I found a set of two of these brass like little, I don't even know, are they like, Pine cones? Are they pineapples? The world may never know. But they're little candle holders. So I just thought they were cool. I have no idea. They could be part of something bigger, but I couldn't find anything else. So I just got the two. They were $5 each, so not super cheap. The thing about brass is I, I really like it. I'm like super drawn to it and I always want to buy it. It doesn't have like a huge sell value um, at all, but Goodwill like loves to price it high. Like it's always $5. I'm like, this is worth like $15 Goodwill. Like why is it $5? <laughs> I don't know. So I understand why the crazy lamp lady like is always like anti-brass because it really doesn't have like that high of a self through value, but like it's just cool. I don't know. So I always pick it up and then I'm always like, cool, now I have this. <laughs> so it takes forever to sell too. So I, I really don't know, but I can't resist it. Um, then I found this cool tray, which I'll probably keep because it weighs a ton and is large and is useful. Um, I love that it looks like a geode on the middle. So I have like a whole collection of like pottery that I use for serving, like when we have people over just for snacks, mostly. I'm not like a cook, but I do like to have like a million different types of snacks out. So 
I just loved the size of this and like how useful it is. And it's in perfect condition and it's signed at the back in squiggly scriggles. So I have no idea who made it, but it's super rad. Um, then I got this box, which is super cool. I've never seen this shape before. Um, I have a couple of these up in our shop right now, but they're like the traditional hexagon ones. I have not seen this like triangle one before, but how cool is that? So I am quite partial to this. <laughs> um, it reminds me, it has like the same kind of inlaid wood as that little picture that I showed you in my last video. If you happen to see my last video that I'm keeping, so understandably probably um, I really want to keep this, but we'll see. I'll probably not list it. And then I have t the two other ones online, like on Etsy right now. So like if those go, then maybe I'll list this, but I think I'll keep it for now. Um, then I got lucky and found a couple little Mackenzie Childs. Um, I found the, they're enamel. They're like painted enamel. They're, they're pretty. Um, it's not like necessarily my style, but they are definitely pretty. Um, so this one is the creamer and then it also, I mean the sugar and then the little creamer. Um, then I found this cool decanter. I just really loved the, um, like stopper that they have on here. It's got some little chips and nicks in it. It's not in perfect condition, but it's cool. Like, I don't even know if it goes with this. It probably doesn't, but it just looks cool. <laughs> so there's that. I don't know. I don't know, guys. I don't know. Um, then I got this gigantic, um, ice bucket and I thought this was cool because of the lions um it weighs like a million pounds but it's a really nice it's like glass lined um and it's a thermos brand product but it's um Sheffield silver so it's made in the U.S. it's mid-century and it's silver plate so it's it's a really nice piece um, I think this would be a really cool piece for like New Year's Eve or Christmas. So I definitely want to get that listed so that somebody could enjoy it for the holidays. But I just thought it was cool. I don't know. It's heavy and is going to be a pain in the butt to ship. But I really liked it. Um, I found a ton of art. Like so much art. <sighs> like I literally buy art because I love art. I have so much art in the house and so much art that needs to go up in the house. It's like, oh, it's really daunting. Um, when we lived in our condo, pretty much every wall was a gallery wall. It was like, it was, it was a lot. <laughs> so I'm just trying to be more strategic when we live, like moving here to actually be a little more thoughtful about my gallery wall situation. But the problem is that means I just have a million pictures like lying around everywhere and not hung. <laughs> And I just love pictures, so I keep buying them to sell, and then I never list them. And it's, you know, it's, it's ridiculous. Because they're expensive to ship, so they end up sitting for a while, but someone has to really love it in order to pay, like, the price of the item plus the shipping. So the moral of the story is stop buying art, lady. But I can't can't stop buying art. I love it. Um, the first is this cool, like, knot. It's like a knot stitch. So it's made with, like, little knots. Um, but it's like a embroidery tiger. I know that, you know, tigers and jungle stuff is really in, so I always pick up the tigers. This guy was $5. Um, then I picked up this cool owl. I love owls. Um, he's very 70s. Weighs about a bajillion pounds. Um, 
<laughs> but he's so cute. And he signed um, by the artist and numbered, so I just kind of felt like he was special. So I couldn't leave him behind. This guy was $10. He's a serigraph, which is pretty cool. Um, then I found this beautiful watercolor that is dated 1973. Oh, um, and it's signed. This was a splurgy item. It was $24. But I could definitely find a place for my home a place for this in my home if no one wanted it but I think it will sell because it's really beautiful I love the colors on it um, then yesterday I found this giant portrait I just like loved her I couldn't leave her behind she was only five dollars She's so cool. She's dated 1970. Like, look at her hair. It's just so good. She's like kind of sunburned because everyone was kind of sunburned in 1970. <laughs> I'm just kidding, guys. I'm just kidding. But you know, it was cool to have like a tan and be blonde. So anyway, she's super rad. She's humongous though. Like, so humongous. So like I said, like 50 bajillion dollars to ship. And the last piece um, is actually like pretty old. I would say maybe 1940s. And I'm tempted to keep this for our guest room. Um, but it's just like a little print. It's nothing like special, but I loved the frame. It's kind of like this rustic gold over a burnt orange. And then of course the cork. And then of course the subject matter lovely you see it all the little flowers and then you can always tell too by like the back the age of the item so yeah, I would say 40s to 30s to 40s but really cool so that was five dollars so not too shabby yeah okay we're doing good guys we're doing good um then i found a pair of these little bunnies i just thought they were really cute they're um hmk so probably like 80s or 90s but cute um then i got myself this little dish i it's nothing special at all um, it's, it is old. It's probably from like the 40s um, and it's got 22 karat gold on it, which, you know, who cares, whatever. Um, I liked the colors though. I liked the blue and the green, but I think the main th reason why I got it is because I loved that the um, image was on the side instead of on the bottom. So it's going to be perfect for jewelry and like little trinkets and things because you'll still be able to see the graphic. Because a lot of the time the graphics on the bottom and then you put your things in it and you can't enjoy it anymore so i just thought that was really cute um it had like literally five stickers on it it had been multiple people had tried to sell this at in antique booths and then it went to goodwill and goodwill had multiple stickers on it it was ridiculous it was like sticker after sticker after sticker i'm like y'all it's not that big a deal I think I paid like $2.99 for it because everything's $2.99 at my Goodwill. Um, then I found these two. I thought they were hilarious, so I couldn't leave them behind. You know, they're probably a little more girly than I am, but like how perfect are these guys? Like you could put your earrings in them. They're just so hilarious and charming. I love that it's a pair. I love that it's a little lady and her gentleman. They're all hand painted. This one has like a little piece of ceramic loose in it, but it's not broken or chipped or anything. So it must be just from the inside. Um, but they were $2.99 each, obviously. And then I found this little needle point, so I couldn't 
believe it because it was so well done, so intricate. Just loved it. And it's such a nice size, again, because it won't be too expensive to ship like some of those big giant pictures and it's perfect for a gallery wall. So that was $2.99 as usual, shock and all. Um, and then the last thing that I found is this really cool, well, I also, I lie. I lie, I lie. Um, I have some jewelry to show you too. But the last like homeware item I have um, is this little, I don't even know if it's like what its purpose is at all, but it's this set of um, pottery. And I would venture to say that I do think it's antique. It looks really, really old to me. Um, I just love it. I don't have any idea who made it. If you have any ideas, please let me know because I just thought it was so beautiful. Um, but I just, I don't know. This little top has like a little chip right there, unfortunately. It's so caked with dust, it's not even funny. But it's not, it's not marked. It's got like, but I do feel like it's really old. So $2.99 and $4.99. Or $7.99 and $4.99. I got those at the Goodwill Boutique, so they were a little bit more expensive. Um, then I picked up some jewelry. So I've been I've been casing one of my favorite thrift stores. They have a lot of really cool jewelry and um, but they had it marked pretty high. So I've been waiting for them to do their half off sale and then I like ran and made sure I was like the first one there and scooped up everything that I wanted. So the first thing is this really cool cuff. Um, it's sterling and then it has these little inlaid stones it's got lapis coral um i'm not sure about this green i mean you could say emerald but i highly doubt it and turquoise um, but it is signed and it's also marked mexico so i just thought it was beautiful it was originally 65 dollars, so that was a lot but i got it for half price um, then I found this kind of Art Nouveau style lady. She's not actually true Art Nouveau, I don't think, but she's still really beautiful. Um, I love the little carnelian stones on her necklace. And I thought she was just beautiful. She was expensive. I paid $40 for her, um, but I just really loved her. Um, then I found this little, um, this little brooch, or no, it's actually a little um, pendant, and it's really cool. So it's really hard to see, but these are birds at the top, um, and then like little roses. And what I love about it is the clasp opens, actually. So like if you have a really big necklace that you want to stick this on, you can because the clasp opens. So it's kind of blurry. It's hard to see, but I just thought it was beautiful. So I think I paid, this is also signed and it's marked sterling. I have no idea what I paid for this though, like maybe $20. Um, then I found this little owl. I collect um, vintage owl brooches, so he'll be he'll be for me with my collection. Super cute. And then, last but not least, I found this really cool old set. Um, so it's this bracelet. And then um, matching earrings, and the earrings are screwbacks. They're really cool. I don't think the stone's anything special. I think it's just glass, 
um, but they are sterling. And I paid 40 for the set of the earrings and the bracelet. But it's really, really pretty. Very tempted to keep that for myself. <laughs> oh, I'm so bad. So bad. Okay, guys. All right. So that was it. That was all of the loot. Um, I hope that you enjoyed this video. I hope that um, you're having fun going out thrifting. I hope that if you um, celebrate Halloween, you're going to tell me all about the fun stuff that you're going to do. Um, and I hope that you have a wonderful week as always. Thank you so much for the comments, for the likes, for subscribing, you know, the whole gamut. It means the world to me, guys, and I really, really, really appreciate it, and I'm sorry that my hair is the worst. All right, bye.